Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix headphones connected but no sound in your Windows 11 and how we can fix this app. So the first and foremost step, if the headphones are already connected but you are not having any kind of sound, there are two possible things. One, if you're using a wired connection, what you need to do is you have to swap, swap the port and you have to check or to make sure that you connected properly. After cross-checking that you have swapped the port and connection is proper is there and the port has been changed but still if you are facing the issue then you can watch the further step. One is all about you have to go over here on the speaker, right click over here and now make sure the speed not set in tube muted or it is on minus. Make sure you have given enough appropriate volume here. Once afterwards you have to go over here to right click and directly navigate to the sound setting. Now go over here, find whether the output is being set into the Bluetooth device that you're using right now. So if you're not able to hear, then the Bluetooth device is not being set. So make sure that you add the Bluetooth device and that particular Bluetooth device is being set into the default one. Or if you don't find, or if you want you to add any device, you can just click on add device, then go for the Bluetooth. Then you have to add the respective device and it will be popping up here. Then you have to set into or select the respective device and make sure it is set into default one. And also you have to scroll down and navigate to the mode sound setting. Now go over here, under the playback, once you connect your headset, for example, if it is wired or wireless, we will be having a separate option here for the headphones. You have to right click on this one and make sure that you set into enable, or that means you have kept it as a default one. And also make sure that after defaulting, we'll be having green mark like this, or make sure that you set into select the device over here like this and go for set default. Once you set into the default one, most probably, after that, you will not be having any kind of trouble. Stay if you're having the trouble with this. After trying these two steps, if you're having a lot of trouble, then we just need to go over here, search for troubleshooting. You have to click on the troubleshoot settings. Now from here, go to other troubleshoots and you have to select audio. Click on the run so that Windows will be running some kind of cross checking from its end, back end end. Then they'll be checking whether we are going to run any kind of issue and all those things. And they'll be giving you some instructions which you have to follow without free. Then you have to check. Last step is all about just go ahead at the start, right click and directly navigate to the device manager. Now we need to expand this and go over here and find audio input and device. Now from here, you have to find your right output and input device. For example, in my case, if the microphone AT is my correct device, then I have to select this. Sorry. Let me select this right click and go for update driver. First search automatically for drivers, make sure it is up to date. Afterwards, right click here once again, go to update driver. Go to browse my, my computer from here and click on let me pick. Now from here, we have to select audio and point, then go for next. Then once the update is successfully done, you have to check. Sometimes these steps might help you guys out. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe. But see you soon, make sure you do.